Okay, so the password I chose for this one uh, was, this one doesn't let me highlight, but it's from N1 to the end here, it's them, it's them they tried to write me. Um, so, I think this one's really significant because it kind of sets up uh, how changed he is now after all that's happened and um, like how changed he is from the beginning being that dangerous kid to probably never going to do something like that again. Um, so, in one of those nasty little epiphanies for which we're prepared by films and TV and childhood visits to the children home, part of the shrunken painted forms of dead grandparents. I understood what it was that bobbed there so inadmissibly in the dark. So obviously here he finds the dead body in the water, which would probably shake you up a bit. Um, he stumbled back in horror and revulsion. Uh, he was, his mind was yanked in six different directions. I mean, he was only 19. He was just a kid and he saw his dead body just floating here in the water. Um, and so like, and this was just right after he had just hit this greasy character and he had to like run away because he was so scared. He had to blunder into the water and then he found this carcass, as he says here, this dead body of another guy. And he, you know, he was just regretting the whole thing because if he would have just not dropped those keys when he got out of the car, he wouldn't have gone through any of this, obviously, and uh, he seems to regret that a lot, obviously. Um, if he just didn't lose the keys, he would have never found this dead body or been just trying to hide in these weeds from this guy, these guys. Um, so obviously when he saw it and he felt it, he just was revulsed and just screamed and shot out of the water. Uh, because I mean, it's a dead body in the water, what are you gonna do? Even if there's people chasing you, you don't wanna be next to a dead body. And so he obviously shouted out, thrashing around in the weeds. Uh, he must have because the voices soon were like shouting and coming animated because they heard him out there. And then the girl obviously tells what happened and that she, they tried to rape her. And so the men start freaking out in the next one. But this passage is just significant, I think, because it has some really good detail in it about the character and, like, really inside his mind. Like, he was only 19. He was just kind of acting, trying to be tough. But, you know, inside, yeah, he was really not that strong or tough. He was kind of weak. And um, I also liked in this passage how they, like, set up the whole scenes and stuff, like, reeking frogs and muskrats. And like how he said, like the waterlogged car carcass, it just kind of gets into my mind, like what absolutely was happening in the water there. It was kind of scary. So yeah.